That the whole world knows it is a boy who will someday be king of England. Behind this door, a new family is about to spend their first night together. As we said, two years, three months ago, the world cheered those newlyweds on the balcony. And tonight, right below that balcony, fulfilling a tradition, a bulletin. Her Royal Highness and her child are doing well. And Prince William sent word, quote, we could not be happier. And we know it is a curious thing in 2013 to be spectators at the fairy tale of a royal family. But tonight, the fairy tale is familiar to everyone everywhere, and ABC's Amy Robach brings us the news right now from London. Amy. That's right. Good evening, Diane. And believe it or not, there are still hundreds of people lining the streets here, some of them planning to camp out overnight just to get that very first glimpse of the new royal family, hopefully right here on the steps of St. Mary's Hospital. Kate and William slip through a side door into the Lindo wing just before 6 a.m., accompanied by a police escort, bypassing the hundreds of anxious photographers camped outside for more than three weeks. More than 10 hours later, the heir to the British throne was born, weighing eight pounds, six ounces. A little boy with the former title, His Royal Highness, Prince of Cambridge. Bucking tradition, the royal couple released the announcement of their baby boy via email. Then to the pomp and circumstance, the announcement was hand carried from the delivery room and driven through London to Buckingham Palace. Posted at the gates with the news that both mother and baby are doing well. The announcement was placed on the same easel that brought news of William's birth, the last time a royal heir has been so eagerly awaited. The royal family spent much of the day anxiously waiting across England. Prince Charles uncharacteristically beaming on an official visit to Yorkshire today. He was greeted by well-wishers but was in the dark with little information he could share about the exciting news. I am very grateful indeed to you for the incredibly kind wishes about uh, rather slowly approaching grandfatherhood at the moment. Following the arrival of his first grandchild, Charles said he was overjoyed. The Queen made her way back to Buckingham Palace from her weekend at Windsor, later saying she is delighted with the news. And Uncle Harry waited for the news at his Air Force base. This moment long awaited since the fairy tale wedding between Prince William and Kate two years ago. The new family will live in Kensington Palace with a specially designed nursery and expansive gardens. The palace apartment still under renovation. This royal heir will have a very modern upbringing. Kate's parents, commoners, are also expected to play an important role. Tonight, William and Kate are spending their first night with their new son in the hospital together. And tonight, a new waiting game begins. Of course, people wondering what the Duke and Duchess will name their new heir and when will we find out? If you take a look back at history, it could take a month like Prince Charles, a week like William, or just 24 hours like Harry. Diane? Okay, thanks so much, Amy.